How's everybody? 2014 Nissan Juke Nismo RS version. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise just got done doing a pre-purchase inspection on this. Pretty cool little car. 1.6 liter turbo, six-speed manual. These produced uh, 215 horse as opposed to the 188 horse counterpart of its all-wheel drive version vehicle. This is uh, the six-speed and front-wheel drive is what you get in this particular package. Just finished up underneath shooting photos. I guess we'll start there. No pause is going to keep rolling. The general condition of the paint and body is uh, pretty nice. There's a few small areas that will point out. There's no we, just me, so I'll point that stuff out. Starting under the back, no frame damage to speak of. Exhaust system is really clean. Rear tires, as you can see, have been recently changed. Rear suspension is in nice shape. Just a simple torsion bar suspension in the rear. Frame rails look nice and clean. All the die holes all the way back look good on both sides. Slightly textured wheel wells and frame rails and the coating. Rear body seam back here looks good. No evidence of getting smacked. At least not smacked hard. Floor pans look good all the way up front and rear. I'll give a better view back here so we won't have to duck down into the sides of the car. Performance exhaust, a little sportier version of the exhaust. On the Nismo package. Front suspension appears to be in good shape. The car really wasn't cleaned up at all before I got here, so. A little more difficult to discern the small nuances, but the front core support here, the lower uh, subframe extension is in good shape other than some scuffs and some surface rust where the paint's scuffed off it. No evidence of any of this ever uh, being taken apart. Right here we've got a dip in the bumper cover. About that, about that dippy. Bottom of the motor and transmission, typical for 70, 80,000 miles. A little bit of oil seepage right up here on the passenger side of the pan. I popped the radiator cap off when it was warm and it spilled over, so I spilled some antifreeze earlier and it was running down the motor. I don't think you'll see a drop right there. That was my fault. After I drive the car, we'll take a look at it again and see if it's uh, going away. Frame rails are hard to view based on the position of the bumper cover and the subframe and whatnot, but looking up there, uh, they're visible and you can see that uh, things look like they're in good shape. Doesn't look like anything's been cleaned or painted or touched up or pulled or cut or welded. Not that I can see. Some surface rust down along the bottom of this. This is the, for the onlooker looking on, this is the bottom of the subframe bolting to the front of the body. So uh, that's where we're at. So the underside of the car, other than this little uh, dip here, 
and a bit of an oil leak. The front tires have just slightly less tread than the rears. Uh, we got a small scuff on the lower cover. Lower grill is in good shape. scuff. Let me get my little pointer out. A small scuff right down here on this lower extension. On top of the hood, the hood probably has the most uh, worn paint on it. There's a scratch right here, pretty deep one, and a scratch, a pair of them right here. And then another one here. And a small one here. So compound and wheel on that, maybe we clear it. Maybe you'd end up with a, a no scratch or very little scratch. Up here on the windshield, there's a little, it's hard to, it's going right through the dash. There's some scuff marks going this way. I think what my guess is here is that maybe a shingle or something blew loose in the wind and it uh, maybe scuffed the hood, scuffed the windshield or something to that effect. No big rock chips or anything like that in the windshield that I discovered. Power windows all go up and down nicely. Running around the small damage, there's a small chip right here. Down low on the back of the fender, there's a little scuff right here on the edge of the fender where the door's been opened into it and a small little chip right there. No dents in the front fender or front door or rear door. Uh, the trim is in good shape. A little bit of just heel scuffage and a couple small little scratches. Door jams themselves are in nice shape. Bottoms of the door skins are in nice shape. See, no signs of overspray were noted. Back behind the door handle, some fingernail uh, type scratches. Those probably would polish up some. This is just some stuff on top of the car. I don't know what it is, but it will come off. Uh, there's been a small touch up right here in the center of the rear door. There's a small chip right here. So the paint infractions, they're not substantial. This might be the worst spot I'm coming to. Uh, in the rear uh, wheel lip opening, this has been scuffed and touched up from there to there. Little scuff down here, I pointed to this one earlier when I was on the ground. And then the rear bumper fitment is pretty nice, but the rear bumper is damaged as we come up on it. Right here, there's a compression crack from there to there. And then a little mark where somebody probably bumped into like a, a pole at Starbucks. I bet that was upsetting. Otherwise, the corners of the bumpers, all four corners are in pretty good shape. I didn't see really any issues with the roof or the rear air deflector. Again, there's some dirt up there. All the tinted glass appears to be in good shape. The car is nice and straight down both sides, not full of door dings and or whatnot. I'll come back around to the wheels in a minute, I'll finish up the body. Small paint chip here, small scratch there. And I believe some of this stuff could probably go away with a color sanding and a, and a buff. So there we have it. I didn't do an exploded view because that was, that was in essence the view of everything.
coming back to the wheels and tires, um, the brakes are decent, likely original rotors, and uh, there's some pad life left there. I know that that's not coming into focus for you, but you can kind of see the edge of the pad. Four-wheel disc, of course. As far as the wheels go, there's a small mark right here. And uh, one of these appeared like it might have been refinished at one point. Every wheel has just a little bit. This one's not bad. Every wheel had just a little bit of um, minor minor this and minor that. I think the worst one was over here. Yeah, we got a little scuffage going on there. And a little here. And a couple chips. Rear brakes look like they're decent. We'll find out when we drive it. Get under the hood and then in the trunk and then the interior and all can happen at the same time. Jams are in nice shape, just a few small uh, scratches and clunks where somebody closed the seat belt probably in the door accidentally and a few small little chips and nicks, little oxidation where there's some bare metal but the jams are generally in good shape. The car just could use a really thorough cleaning. Rockford Fosky. On this particular car, that sound system was a $1,200 option. Got a little scratch in the door panel right there. This cool two-tone suede slash leather Recaro uh, bucket system. These seats ride a little stiffer than the standard seats in the uh, non-Nismo RS package. Leather wear is uh, fair. And again, the car really hasn't been cleaned up much of this. It could present nicer, a little bit of wear on the outside of the clutch pedal, and some scuffage that could clean up. Matching leather wrapped, foam wrapped steering wheel in pretty decent shape, a couple spots on it. On this door, we've got a little mark spot here little chip chips right there on there the back seat and whatnot seems to be in pretty good shape a couple heel marks on the backs of both seats that highlighting uh, red stitching is really nice jams again in good shape no evidence of overspray I got photos of the mats out on the floor for the prospective buyer. This video is being shot for a prospective buyer. Buyer, If you're not that person, and you're seeing this video late, um, he is the only one that paid for it. Got the inspection service. This got sent directly to him after he decided. These fold down nicely, by the way. After he decided to buy or pass, the video then became public so this is not this car's probably not for sale anymore it might be but it might not be if you need service like this 800-301-3886 there's one of my commercials I'll finish up show a little bit of interior on this side and then we will we will roll on, take a test drive together. I have not driven it other than around the parking lot. Check the oil and the antifreeze. Oil is within the hash marks, but I bet it could stand a changing. And antifreeze was topped off and I spilled it down the side of the motor. There's something was probably spilled on this seat a while ago. In the video, it looks really light, but it doesn't look that bad in person. It looks better, I think, in person. Headliner's nice, no real issues up there. Dash is nice, just a couple little scratches. Somebody's cat paw or dog paw might have been there. 
and a little uh, knicker chip up there. Okay. So there we go. We have uh, wheels and tires, paint and body covered. Interior's been covered, underbody's been covered, exhaust. All the headlights work. Lower LED uh, running lights, those work. Hazards work, turn signals, license plate light, that's all been checked. Air conditioning is not blowing any colder than 66 degrees, and that's about the temperature out today. Engine bay is in pretty good unrestored condition. A little bit of surface rust here on the spot welds of the core support, but nothing's been changed, as you can see. Coolers look like they're in good shape. They're not bent or uh, you know, just malformed in any way. They look good. And then there are spots where the frame rails, the frame rails and the side of the core support are visible. And all of that looks aged appropriately with surface rust on the bolts and nothing's really been you know, changed or tugged on. Yep, no real work detected here. A little surface rust here on the hood and then some tears in the uh, hood insulator. I'm going to drop this down. So plug your ears a minute. Power mirrors are working, power windows are working, cruise control I will test, power locks are working, uh, traction control light comes on and off, stereo comes on, sweep here in a minute. There we go. Navigation. 73,000 miles showing. Got a little bit of gas. And uh, let's take it for a ride. This has got the D mode. This will kind of um, shift you between three modes of suspension. Eco, uh, performance, I forget what the other one's called, but there's three modes. And uh, or we hit the climate button or back to the climate control. Rear backup camera is operable. And then the, the radio is working.
some brake in here. It seems to be driving pretty straight. feels nice and tight. Okay, I'm going to hands off the wheel again. There we go. This is kind of a horrible road to do any real testing on, but it seems to be okay. Horn works. I've let the car run in the parking lot for 20 minutes and the engine temperature seems to be maintaining nicely. All right. So I've really not found much other than the cosmetic anomalies here that uh, Themselves. If the car was cleaned up, we might see a few more nicks or scratches. The clutch is engaging about about halfway off the floor. I guess that's probably pretty decent for uh, 73,000 miles. Probably never been serviced. I'm going to do a quick acceleration now that I pass that bicyclist. carbon fiber treatments to the dash and the suede stitched uh, balance over the gauges is kind of cool. It's a cool little package. I was not too familiar with these cars prior to uh, doing this inspection. Uh, wipers are working. Sweeping, fan is blowing. Uh, again, I wasn't getting a temperature higher on my gauge than approximately 64 or 3 degrees. I've got still photos of those. Brake light comes on, parking brake works. Too much traffic to try the cruise control, so... Uh, and to uh, steer and record and shift few things I can't do, that's one of them. Automatic windows roll down. I would say that if a buyer was after such a beast, that this would be one that was worth uh, worthy of consideration. One more thing to point out, this trim is kind of getting chalky. Probably needs to be buffed or polished and see uh, what, if any, some of this can maybe go away. Just a little chalky. Again, no large rock chips. If there's any small, tiny chips in the windshield, those could exist, but it's too dirty to see. Not full of door dings or anything like that. It's a good looking car. Thanks for hanging out, hiring this service. If you need service again like this, and you're seeing this video, this car is either purchased or still for sale. After the person that hired me looked at the video and a couple hundred photos that I shot and decided what to do. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, 800-301-3886. Nissan Juke, Nismo RS, 215 horse, six speed, monster. Thanks.